And thank you. Welcome to another edition of Cookies Tech and Talk Table. Thank you guys for waiting for another one of my update videos regarding the GPD Win 2 handheld gaming console from GPD of Shenzhen. It's been a minute since I did another video. This is a follow-up video to a previous video on how to install the operating system from the update files on the GPD.HK website. With this follow-up video, we're actually going to be doing an unboxing of a new solid-state drive with a previous company that I talked about before named Dogfish and how to physically put it in the GPD Win 2 open-source handheld gaming console, which you're going to see me do right here. So, as before, I was supporting Dogfish previously because I had the 480 gigabyte version of this solid state drive, which is the M2-2242, which is what the GPD do, GPD Win 2 handles. Now, I had sold that drive to a neighbor who had gotten their GPD Win 2, mainly because they didn't want to wait for their a solid state drive to come in the mail, and I was conveniently next door, I'm here, and I said, okay, you know what? I can wait for my 512 upgrade by the same company. I'll sell you the 480. They bought the 480. So here we are. This is unopened. So I'm going to open it right now. Um, it's my trusty knife. And of course, what I like about Dogfish is that they, they put it in a nice little box here. It even tells you on the back what it is. It's, of course, in Chinese, um, the model number and such. And they highlight in red how many gigabytes it is. So of course the highlighted gigabyte storage is 512. I'm going to assume because of the form factor 512 is the highest the 2242 can go. Correct me if I'm wrong, the more space that these um, devices can hold um, the higher heat consumption. So to conserve heat consumption the highest that this form factor can go is 512 gigabytes. Alright so I just opened the plastic and then I'm going to open this, show you what we're working with here. Okay, yes, and then if it comes out like this, uh-oh, it fell out, of, fell out of place. Here we go. The nice part about this uh, hard drive is that it, that they, they have a, they put their, their label on the front, so you know that the label is the inserting part of the hard drive. And yes, it does say 512, it does say 512 gigabyte SSD. I'll put that in like that. Okay. Oh, and even comes with its own screws this time. The 480 version didn't have screws. But um, we already have a screw here, so I think we'll be fine. This is my trusty screwdriver, to which I'm going to open up the back of the GPD Win 2 here. Now, I'm still functioning off of my original 128 gigabyte hard drive here. We're just going to undo this. Just as a side note, once everything is physically installed, before you get ready to do the actual operating system install, you want to make sure that you take out your 256 or your micro thumb drive, and you also want to make sure that you take out the micro SD card here. Mainly because if you don't, when this gets ready to format, when this gets ready to format, this drive right here, whatever other uh, per, um, peripheral devices that you have in the system will automatically get formatted too. So we don't want to format the micro SD and we don't want to format the micro thumb unless that is your intention. Otherwise, remove this from the device, put them off to the side, and then continue with the physical install of the the SSD. So this is the original 128 right here. Put that right there. Okay, good, there's the screw. And now I'm just going to gently but firmly with tact put this facing down. So normally like I said the, the emblem on the on the front of the drive is usually the insert point. So the teeth that are right here are going to go down in here. Make sure there we go. Just a firm press. Just 
see here. There we go. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And now, usually at this point, now that it's in, you usually will hear a click. I'm going to hold the hard drive with this thumb while placing the lid cap over it. Great. And then putting the screw back in place, which this could be a little bit cumbersome sometimes because you, you got to get it just right, otherwise it won't screw correctly. But in this case, we're lucky because it just dropped right back down into the hole if you can see it. And I'm just going to gently screw firmly into place. We never want to do this too tight because if you ever want to downgrade to a lower end SSD 2242 M2 form factor, we don't want to break the screw or twist it too much to where you can't untwist it again. So, just as a side note. And now everything's in place. Now, per my previous video, I had installed the update operating system files from www.gpd.hk. I'm going to put the link in this video um, so that um, anyone who doesn't know where to get the files can get the files from there. You can now directly download it from them through a torrent. They have multiple um, links on how you can get the operating system update files. And you're going to, of course, put the thumb into the drive right there. So now we're going to turn it on. Now once you turn it on, the first thing you want to do is hold down and or continue to press the delete button so you can get into the BIOS menu. So I'm going to keep on pressing delete. I hope you guys can see that. Now I'm going to turn this to the side because the menus turn to the side right here. And you want to move all the way forward to the option that says boot. And move all the way to the option that says boot. And then we're going to go down here. And you should see where that you say boot options one, boot options two, fast boot, SATA support, VJ support, all the options that are pertaining to how you would like this device to boot. Now the most important function here for us is that we're going to go to the Samsung Flash. Now when you put, if you copy the files right to your flash or to your thumb pin, once you put the thumb pin in and you get to the BIOS boot option screen, it will automatically read which thumb drive you have. It could be a SanDisk, a Samsung, whatever. But if you see it listed, it means you did it correct. So we're going to go with boot option one and we're going to press enter. And then this option will come up that says Samsung flash drive fit, which is the fit right there, partition one, and then it says disable. So we're going to press enter because we're going to enter into this boot option right here. And then we should be able to save and exit, save configuration, and exit out. And if this is done correctly, it should be entering into the files for which will get the operating system initiated, which is exactly what's happening right now. Your screen will turn blue like it is. It's initializing. And then, I can't really zoom too much with the camera here, but I'm going to bring it closer if I can. The percentage down there will show you the completion value. So right now, everything is going. It's getting started. It's saying it's successful. And now it's saying it's copying the files. Now, once it's done... It will restart, and when it restarts, that's when you will be able to put in all of your Windows information again. So right now, it's applying the image, and that's how we just leave this alone for right now. 
We don't want to do anything to disrupt that. Uh, what would be uh, most efficient is that we take our, our charger and plug this in because we don't want anything to disrupt this process, especially if it's low on battery. So I'm going to quickly plug this in just to be safe so we don't corrupt anything and allow this computer to do what it does. And then I'll be back in a moment. We're going to skip ahead to when the installation process is complete. Okay, so we're back. The installation of the Windows operating system from the thumb drive from the update files from gpd.hk was very successful. And this is what your screen is going to look like. And once it's installed, of course, you would do all the normal things that you would do with your normal installation of Windows. You're going to go and attach your Google account, your Microsoft account, all those things so that you can personalize your computer before you get things started with putting your video games and such. Um, as I click into my computer here, you can see that, yes, this is 512 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes. But of course, the operating system is installed. So technically, we have 458 gigabytes of space. So ideally, ideally this device can hold up to one terabyte of space plus 256 gig on the thumb pin. So I'm going to put up, as you can see right now, that there is a 512 gigabyte micro SD. There was one created by Transcend but now there are several other companies that have jumped onto the bandwagon. One that I personally recommend is um, PYN or PNY. I'm going to make sure that my computer has the name correctly. In fact, that company is the micro SD card that I'm using right now in the camera from which I'm filming, which is, yes, PNY. PNY Technologies. I've had a great, um, I've had a, um, uh, great satisfaction using their micro SD cards for my other video gaming devices and I trust that their 512 gigabyte micro SD card which is part of the elite line um, is excellent uh, they're a bit pricey they're 350 bucks right now for their 512 card but if that is a little bit too much for you then of course there is another alternative new egg is selling one by the group called team group I'm putting up these images right now through this video so you can see that there are other options for micro SD cards such as this right here, micro SD cards of 512 gigabytes. So now you can have a 512 SSD, a 512 micro SD, and then so far the, I'm going to remove this because the operating system is already installed, a 256 gigabyte micro fit thumb not only by um, Samsung but also by SanDisk that's their own version as well so I'm going to see because I don't know yet what kind of performance I'm going to get from this 512 upgrade Dogfish M2 2242 solid state drive so this is also being sold at New Egg you can see the picture that I put right here I'm going to be providing links to this video Thank you again for joining me for another episode of Cookie's Tech and Talk Table. This one was specifically a walkthrough on how to physically remove your previous SSD and put in the new one and install the operating system, how to access it through the BIOS menu, and what to expect from this overall process. Thank you very much. Yes, I am still continuing the emulation series of the GPD Win 2. Please expect another video um, referencing more emulation, the next emulation video, sometime next week. Until then, until next time, take care. Thank you again. Leave your comments on this video. They're very much appreciated. If you have anything to say, please do contact me via this video, and I'll be more than happy to answer questions. Thank you very much.